Broken silence. Broken silence. Broken silence. Broken silence. Broken silence. Right. The more niggas that think alike, right. that stick together, like it don't make sense that we don't stick together. Right. You're and, right. And really, that's the biggest problem. Right. Like family, like I know personally, like we don't stick together. Right. That's the problem with niggas. Right. They don't stick. Th- like they would rather. They, everybody always want to prove they could do it on their own. Right. <laughs> that's it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But that's it. Right. But the bottom line is it don't make no... That's my only logical explanation for it. Because mm-hmm. it'd be like, damn, why niggas don't want the other niggas? Like, why do niggas only want to be the only one with the nice car? Right. I think it's more closer when your crew got... If, if, if everybody in here rich, that make me look crazy rich. Right. So the, the, the more better you look, the better I look. It's logical. Black people never help each other. We never stick together. We we are the most retarded culture in the world for that. I always say that. You know, for some reason, when when, when black people get something, they think that they can't share with other black people because that other black person is going to take it from. But you know, culturally, because we were slaves, I guess we feel that we need another culture to make us to validate it, to get us from one level to the next. But you know, it's it's, it's to be expected. It's human. You know, we just got a black president in there. You know, seven years ago, things are just changing. So now black people are sticking together. But yeah, the old black man felt they had to. to to shit on each other to survive. It was a survival tactic, you know? It's not excusable, but you know, I could, it, it's, I, I understand it. But yeah, we, we, we can't act like we stick together because we don't, you know? You can look at how we always get separated and it's always someone from another culture that separates us. I could personally tell you that. Yeah, nah, we don't stick together. We be clowning like that. But I'm a black man and I can say that. I've been trying to change that forever. Trust me, you don't think back in the day, I was like, yo, let's Rockefeller, Bad Boy, Def Jam, Wu-Tang, all of us, let's just stick together and be right nobody, but nobody wanted to do it. You know, you know, you know how many black people I tried to put together to make movies, and there'd be always that one group that just, you know, would break that up. They even, it, even other black people break up other black people sticking together because it'll kill that little check because they got to connect with white people. A lot of black people know me, and their biggest problem with me is uh, that I don't support black businesses. And when I say this, this is like a hate crime. Then they say, well, she like, well, that means he don't like black people. Sure I do, sugar. But all black businesses are not professional enough for me, and I ain't spending money on non-professionalism just because your skin is black. All these black owned restaurants and ish opening when the they want to open. And what kills me is they got hours of operation on their door and on their little websites. They say they open from 9 to 9 and they don't open till 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Something ain't right. There's no way your restaurant should be closed on your birthday. You should have people working for you on that day. And then black businesses known for running out of shit. How the fuck you run out of crab cakes? Every day, something would tell you to buy more of that shit because that's what everybody likes. The most fucked up part, the name of the restaurant is called Crab Palace. You think Red Lobster gonna run out of lobster? Huh? I support white businesses. Okay, all right, all right. Let me clear it up for y'all, angry black people. Because everybody always seems so angry when I tell the truth. But for my blacks with selective hearing, meaning you hear what you want to hear, I do not support all black businesses, okay? For instance, black stylists that tell you to be at the shop at 9, but they don't come strolling in until 10.30 with a hangover. For instance, the black nail techs that charge $70 for what I can go pay $30 for. For instance, the black business owners that don't carry business cards. Instead, here, you can take my number down. Yeah, those. See? This is exactly the kind of shit I'm talking about. I wanted to go get some damn crabs today because I'm feeling crabby. And it's a nice day to sit on my porch and eat some damn crabs. Since everybody giving me a hard time about not supporting my own people and shit, I decided to get some crabs from a black owned business. I called and ordered them, go pick them up. I said, all right, let me get some paper so I can put the crabs on. He talking about, I'm sorry, man, we out of paper. I said, all right, all right, cool, I can use newspaper. Let me get some butter so I can dip my crab meat in some butter. He like, I'm sorry, we out of butter too. These are both of them my crabs. I lied to you not. I said, damn, how y'all ain't got no paper or no butter? All y'all got is crabs, huh? Just crabs. He said, yeah, but we only had a little bit of obey. So if you like extra obey, I'm sorry. I said, really, nigga? He said, yeah, we just had deaf in our family, so we just opened back up. That's what I'm talking about. The white was the I'm putting it did that. Deaf and all. They'd have made sure they stocked up before the funeral. Huh? No, 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 no. I'm so not done on this time. Everybody keeps commenting about how if they knew better, they'll do better. So instead of complaining about the black owned businesses, you should tell them so they can make it better. You should help them, uplift them, sister. Oh, out of here. Listen, let me tell you something. If you went into a white owned business, an ARAP owned business, or whatever, you wouldn't help them uplift instead of complaining? No, you wouldn't come complain because you expect them to have the shit together because they any other color but black, right? One thing I'm not doing, I'm not babysitting another black person to get their business where it need to be. If you bold enough to go get your own business, be bold enough to take pride in the um, and run it right. It's easy. Do the only cup research, figure out what people want, and make it happen. She went into. Lord have oh, mercy. I can't even lie. Like, I agree with I've you. Been yeah. in, I've been in that position before. Like, when you go to the um, Caribbean shop to get some food. <laughs> it's five o'clock. No, no, no. You know, see, that's why you're laughing because you've not been there. You go in the Caribbean yeah. shop, 5 p.m. on a Friday night, yeah, Friday evening. Can I get jerk chicken and rice and peas? 
when I have no rice and peas. <laughs> Bruv, it's Friday at 5 p.m. Like, <laughs> you know this. Friday's a busy day. Like, what? It's, it's Friday. Like, what do you mean? Why do you not have. You know, everyone orders rice and peas. Why did you not have. Some? Exactly. I don't understand. That's like, a sin. That's a sin. <laughs> but not only that, it's the attitude. Everyone can have. I know everyone in this room records the time when they've been in the Caribbean shop to get food and you get the, 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 the slow, rude woman behind the counter mm-hmm. trying to serve you. What do you want? Can I get yeah, rice and. Yeah. Can I get rice and peas? Can I get a, a boxer? We ain't got no ox tail, we only have <laughs> lamb and, 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 and fish. Have you got any patties? We have no patty. Have you got any um, Guinness punch? Guinness punch is finished, we only have salsa. <laughs> <laughs> you lot have been there, so you know. I, no, I understand, I understand what, she, what, 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 she's, what she's saying, because we've all experienced it. Oh, Lord. So but boy. what was the, 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 all right. What do you think it is why our people are like that in business? Too lax, man. You, you, <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because all that's gonna happen is that it's gonna end up closing down, mm-hmm. which none of the businesses we see, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. suffer. You know what I'm saying? But I don't understand why, as a as a, a I would say, black people, we have to have all that attitude or have that lack of when it comes to running our business. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's either that. It's either attitude mm. or we open a business and want maximum profit straight away. Mm. Yeah. That's the Both. problem as well. Yep. That's why you can go to a, 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 a black shop, pick up an item and it's like 50p to a pound more than going to someone else. Mm-hmm. They, like, it's, they haven't got that mentality of let me gain all the customers first through selling cheaper yeah. mm-hmm. and slowly rise the price. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? KFC used to do three wings for a pound. Mm. Now it's only two. Mm. They they done it smartly. Mm. They had everyone coming in, getting hooked on the wings, mm. and then dropped by one. Mm. You know what I'm saying? They don't have the same mentality. Mm. But Nate, as 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 a non-black, <laughs> what, what what do you see from um when you go into or when if you've experienced black businesses? No, it's true. I, I definitely agree with what you're saying. Like more time. You do get them ones that were, you know, the bad customer service, the food's run out, but the ones now, nah, but the ones that, you know, are actually on point, I try and support them, you get what I'm saying? Yeah, you yeah, try, yeah. You know. But it is down to that, like, at the end of the day. So, going with what um, Dame Dash said, though, in a sense of our people never want to stick together to make business grow. Mm. What, like, what, what do you lot think that the reason for that is? Because he said, obviously, a man wants to be that guy by himself. Like, yeah, look at me. I'm doing well. And as he says, you know, if everyone was doing well, we'd look even better as a team. Yeah. But, you know... I think you can break that down to two types of people. So you know what you said about having the attitude? Mm. Like, you don't want to work with someone that has got that attitude or that doesn't have that business attitude or business savvy or on the other hand you, like, you don't want to work with somebody that um, you get the ones that just want to be up there by themselves they don't want anyone else to be on the same level as them so that's when it comes to like an ego thing of you f- feeling, fulfilling some kind of feeling within yourself that I'm, I'm better than my brother I think that's the mentality that we have in our community do you think, like, well. do you think like it's because also that we're just not trusting of each other we don't trust each other because I can't even lie. My, sister, my brothers and sisters said, come, let's all do partner. I went through one year with this partner. I said, never again in life <laughs> with my siblings. And that's because it's one person, don't, they don't pay late next month. They don't have the money. Mm. This is what I mean. It's like there's no... Um, so there's certain traits within yeah, us. Yeah, within us that, that we, yeah, we need to overcome. That we've seen, so we're just like, nah, nah, nah that's I'm not on it. I think that's why we're... But saying. I find them traits are only with our own people, though. What? I was just about to say that because mm. we, like, we're trusting of other nations mm. to be like... Because I could be like, yeah, mate, come. Let's do a partner. Yeah, yeah, um, and, like, you, and you, you pay like, on time. I'll be like, find everybody like, let's do it. Because I know it would be on point. Because mm-hmm. I just know, because other nations are just like that. Like, let's be real. We're too lax when it comes to things. So when it comes to partners, oh, yeah, my love, man. Let's, next month, next month, I'll pay. Just cover me this month. Next month, come. And, and still no payment. Mm. You know what I mean? So I think it is a trust thing when it comes to that. Because we've seen it happen to maybe like family members or friends. Mm. So we're just like, no, 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 I'm not on it. You know the clip where he said like he he put it back to um, slavery 
Mm. And he was like, does that have something to do with it? But then I'm thinking, after slavery, they had the Black Wall Street, right? Mm. They had to have been mm. together to have done that. Mm-hmm. So I'm trying to think, like, what was the breakdown from that point till now that has caused us to be in kind of the state that we're in, where there isn't much black cohesiveness when it comes to business? Do you know what? In another, sorry, in another interview, he actually the guy who's with him actually does speak on the Black Wall Street. But their example of that is that they had to work together. Because mm-hmm. everyone was so against them, mm-hmm. they had no choice but to say, okay, come we go and set this up. Because mm-hmm. they couldn't get nothing else. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? There was that hard segregation. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So they had to work together to create that. Now, we're accepted in most places. We're mm-hmm. intermingled, we're, we're working with other people, we're buying and selling with other people. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So that need to work together ain't really there. Mm. But unless we work together, we're always going to be the consumer. Yes. You get what I'm saying? Mm. What are you going to say? My man? thing is, when we come together to make businesses, it's like, say those three people on it, one person's got their, their mentality, oh, I want to make money. The other person wants to help people. The other person's got another mentality. It's not cohesive. No one's on the same mm. mindset. So it, it's always going to break down. If you haven't got one goal, it's always going to come to naught, mm-hmm. straight. But even still, what Dame Dash said about um, everyone flossing. Yo, even when you're like, see like when you're going raving, yeah? My mentality even back in the day was like, yo, he's got a Casio watch. I'm pulling out my Rolex. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to be like, yo, <laughs> one up, one up, yeah, one up, yeah. you know what I mean? That's the mentality. And when he said that, it's true. Everyone flossing looks sick. Mm. But like, you're thinking, bro, I'm trying to, uh, when I come to you, like, yo, you look sick, bro. Like, you know, you're getting that, 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 um... Recognition, you mean? Yes. Mm. So everyone's on loving you, but, like, you don't really think about anyone else. But I like what you said still, it's true. Mm. Everyone fussing is sick. Mm. But I think one of the biggest things is when it comes to doing illegal stuff, that's when we're ready to work with each other. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if what? you had to buy five <laughs> keys, oh, yeah, you could holler at another four of your own people and say, and oh yeah, put the money in for that. Mm. Oh yeah, yeah. As soon as you say, put the money in to do a business, oh no. Because it's not quick money. It's like, yeah. that's yeah. what we expect. Yeah. Yeah. Fast, cash. Quick, yeah. Fast cash. We don't want to put into something that's, that gives longevity. I remember when we used to go raving and that. Mm. Everyone would be buying bottles and you yeah. and your crew, you're looking good, blah, mm. blah, blah. As Dame Dash said, we could be doing that with business. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. But so it's like the mentality for longevity mo- or money there. to come in bit by bit mm. Ain't, mm. ain't really there. Mm. And I guess our own people create that because they're used by the media. They're used by all these different, different organisations to show the fast car to show mm-hmm. wearing Gucci, mm-hmm. Louis Vuitton. So that's what we're watching and wanting to copy. Yeah. So when it comes to that flash life, yeah, but you're forgetting these people are making legit money. Mm. Rappers make legit money, no matter how much they rap about on the street doing it or whatever they rap about, mm-hmm. they're making legit money. They're mm-hmm. making money from a record label mm-hmm. as well as sponsors yeah. and endorsements. Mm-hmm. And that's the one thing that we forget. You know what I'm saying? It comes back to then again, like the um, the kind of media perception that we have of ourselves. We we try to recreate that which we see, mm. but then at the same time, it doesn't help our community in the sense of coming together or joining together to do any any kind of business. Mm. We're just trying to, yeah. like you said, make the fast cash so that we can have the designers and all the things that we see these celebrities do. But even actually, they're not actually doing that themselves. Mm. It's our mentality as well. As soon as we get money. As a man, the starter kit is a watch, <laughs> chat, <laughs> car. Like the starter kit. That's the starter kit, you know. That's the starter kit. Prada pr- pr- shoes are red bottoms now. Yeah, that's what I'm now, saying. Now it's red bottoms. Mentality is it's upside down. You know what I mean? Even um, back in the day, there was a picture going around, like a like a normal white guy. Mm. He's got like a normal T-shirt on. I know. And it, yeah, like, yeah, how much yeah. does it cost? Mm. But us. We got the shoes. It's about five hundred pound. Mm-hmm. We got the top. It's but yeah, about that, that white man is richer than. The, this is yeah, what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. It's all yeah. upside down. But man. see, that's the problem as well because, okay, we could all set up a business together, and we could make a bag of money, mm-hmm. say in one month, in whatever like legit company that it is. But 
the problem with us is that we won't then use that money that we've just made mm. to then reinvest it back that's in. That's right, yeah. That we're now on the thing of, oh, yeah, we just made like 10k, yeah, yeah boom, mm. let's spend on rare, 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 whatever. Mm. So there's that, there's no business like, what's the Mindset. Yeah, like there's yeah. no, yeah. No, that has a, no longevity, mm. like that's to like, keep, um, keep it, keep no, it going, like, yeah. yeah. So don't you think it's an educational thing? Like, you see, because we've been kind of out of the loop for so long, it's hard for us to have that kind of business mindset to then join together. Because I'll give you an example. I went to a um an art gallery one time a few years back and then you see like there's a, there was this there was this white guy there and he was just wearing some dirty trainers, jeans and t shirt, plain t shirt, no no name. Mm. And the people that I came with is when every designer down to the sun. <laughs> but the white guy he bought how many paintings? Mm. And do you think the person that I was with could afford to buy one? One. Mm. So do you see what I mean? Maybe it's like we don't I don't know like why don't we have that kind of is it because we've been out on the loop for so long when it comes to business like from today from black wall street all that time you've been, mm. been pushed out of like the business side of things and then that's why we can't seem to come together it's, but, uh, yeah. you know it's, i think it's in our dna you know because even in biblical terms man was just in fleek <laughs> man had nice stuff it's in us to like get nice things gold like we love it mm. something about us just is drawn to it. Mm-hmm. That's why everything's um, publicised to us. Because they know we're going to buy it. You know what I mean? I was just about to mm-hmm. say as well, like with the media, like like Ray was saying before, mm-hmm. it is pushed on us more mm-hmm. because we, like, we have all like the Beyonce's in the world, the Rihanna's or whoever, I don't know what rappers are out there now. But because like me growing up and watching like say MTV and whatever, mm-hmm. I grew up listening to like, listening to, like say Missy Elliott who you know what I mean? Had all these flashy cars, wearing certain things. I'm like, I want to be like that. Mm-hmm. So you grow up and your thing is, that's what I want. In us. But we didn't really have that role model to say, no, this is what you should do. Mm-hmm. Like, try and be a lawyer, a doctor, this, that, or yeah. if you want to be a business person, try and go into this avenue or whatever. We didn't have that. We, I grew up and I'm 80s baby, so I, my era was MTV. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's what, you know what I mean? That was drummed into my head. So all I ever knew was flashy, flashy, flashy things. Mm-hmm. But there's no reality of, okay, how do I get these flashy things? Yeah. Unless you're willing to go and sell your soul, which I'm <laughs> about yeah. to do. But that's the reality, like, that's all we've ever known. So there, there is no education, because you go into a normal school, you don't get that kind of education. Mm. It's just your basic English, maths, science. That's it, they're not showing you how to run a business or how to get into a business Life or you understand. Skills. Right. Okay, so, what, so then what about the ones, the people, that are people that have managed to push through and do have businesses? Like, you, everyone's been like, had an, a, an experience where they've had, like used a service or whatever and you thought, oh yeah, if I ever had a business I want it to be like that. Mm. And it's always been like something of a higher standard. Mm-hmm. Why is it our people that do have businesses, not all of them, mm-hmm. how is it that it's, they're still not run to a high, a high enough standard? Like, you might see like there's like, a, a restaurant that is, that is doing quite well, mm. but you go there, you spend lots of money, you get small, small. <laughs> <laughs> Or, as, as I said, they want to make maximum, maximum profit. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. But all about those ones that have managed to push through that barrier and do have a business. Mm-hmm. What's the mindset of them and why it's the business are not are not run to to a high standard? What's the excuse for them then? They got white business partners. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say that so as well. It's, it's, that, just, it's tr- your surroundings. When I was before this truth, I, I I had a white friend and his dad was our connect and. I, they treated me better than any black people that I knew and made me make more money mm. and treated me as an investment. Mm. So anytime something may have come on top, the man was there ready to go and say, yeah, all right, then we're going to deal with that. Mm. And the question was asked, how come like for any little thing you're, you're willing to ride out? Mm. He said, you're an investment. Mm. You protect your investments. Mm. And I think we don't have that mentality so that's why we're gonna do nonsense and speak to people in a certain way when we're the one behind the counter Mm. serving Mm. we're gonna talk all rude because we're not protecting our investment Mm. we've we've got the mentality of either you buy from us or you don't we're not trying to draw more people in care about yourself you know what i'm saying but hopefully nate can give us some tips today you get me (laughs) (laughs) Mm-mm. But yeah, no, that, that, that's that's we we we're not we don't protect an investment. Mm. We, you know what I'm saying? The only way we're looking to protect anything is if, as you said, it's it's fast money. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's the problem. As you were saying about watching Missy and all of those rappers growing up and they got this and that in the video, watch a Rolling Stones video mm. or anything like that. 
I've never once seen Eminem's video with no cars and yeah. no big chain and you know what I'm saying? So they go about their thing different. Mm-hmm. I was yeah. gonna say that, like having true. like a kind of macro micro, like sort of a top down perspective. Like if, obviously we're looking out to those that are kind of more known in our society or whatever. So if they're not doing it up there, mm. and how much more so for those that are below? Because we don't we're not we don't see it. So it's not gonna be on the forefront of your mind, yeah, I need to be able to do this. Even in the movies that you watch, you always see like the white families are more together, you know, yeah. they've got the mum and dad are there. Well, and the I always team, find that like the, that, yeah. yeah, the portrayal of our family is always dysfunctional mm. or, or broken. Yeah. Now I'm kind of like when I'm on Instagram now, and if I see anything like that, I press um, report ad. <laughs> 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 I do that now. No, because that's and if that's all we see, like even that film Precious, that went, how big did that oh, film go? Oh my goodness, yeah. And it's based on the dysfunctional And it's based on the dysfunctional yeah. family. So if that's all the portrayal that we're seeing, it's like it's the self-fulfilling prophecy. You don't expect nothing more. Like that's, when I gave that 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 um, example of the Caribbean show, and you don't all look like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Do you see what I mean? Because mm-hmm. It's like, we've all been it's there, common, yeah. yeah, and it's, I don't know. But we don't have basic principles, that's what it is. Mm. Because when it comes to principles, you're supposed to be like, all right, I'm gonna look after my brother. Mm. They're like, oh, I ain't, I ain't talking to you, mm. or you know, have some sort of attitude. So, where, where's the principles of, you know, respect, mm. love, care? Like, these are the principles that's in the scriptures that we're that we're that we're that we're, go, that we're following. I should say, mm. we need those to go forward. Mm. Like he said, with mon- one mindset. If we don't have the one mindset, we ain't got so, Yeah, mm. it's all selfishness. And it's true because it is your surroundings as well. So. If, say, we all want to set up a business, but you might have, I don't know, just the one person that's got the right mindset yeah. to be like, yeah, boom, like, this is what we should do. But then if everybody else hasn't got the same mindset Destroy. as you, exactly, already is destroyed because yeah. no one's honest, that's, have that, has that same one, one set mind. But what so about like, those that just want it? Put money in and leave you to do what you're doing. Because Those they're lazy. businesses. But they're lazy. But if you still. <laughs> they are lazy. <laughs> You need to put in hard work. Like everyone, even, even, even if you do have the silent partner, right? the silent partner, the silent partner, but you still have to have the same mindset. Because what then you're putting, you're putting your money to something, thinking, oh yeah, let's do it. Yeah, just leave them. Just leave them. But then, then the and when they lose money, it's right? A <laughs> they exactly. Their head, bro, they come out of the woodwork. <laughs> yeah, but we would rather work for the system harder than we work for ourselves. It's true. Right. It's we true. would go in it's for true. the system, everything, wake up early, everything. Mm. But when it's us, yeah, uh, it's 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 surely, surely it's these come things on. are surely these things are taught, right? Because obviously, like we come, like our parents taught us whatever. Mm. We're on the, their same mentality. And I ain't working with you. It's a cycle. So surely, like these principles or things can be taught or relearned, shall I say? Like even yeah. look at, I don't know what I watched like um, this black motivational speaker. And he went to a high school in America, mm-hmm. and all the kids were talking, 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 mm-hmm. and he started to shout at them. He's like, no, when I go to like these white or Jewish colleges, they they pay how much spies for me to come in, and they greet me and they sit there and they listen with respect. Now I've come to my own. I'm doing this for free, and you don't. I'm not listening. Like, he was going in at them. You said I'm not listening. It's like, don't you know you can be great? Blah 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 blah. Mm-hmm. So I'm thinking, surely like that mentality or mindset was taught or it was come filtered down through their parents so yeah. surely these things can be taught but and then, learn right but there is a breakdown though because even when our grandparents come they was more together than exactly. 100 percent they they our grandparents they done with heavy yeah they, come, they did. worked on the underground worked on the buses yeah. worked cleaning worked at the post office bought their wherever house, bought others didn't want to do and they put their money together and bought houses right. houses yeah. that's the thing like right. some grandparents yeah. might have just had one but many had loads, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, or a couple. Yeah. And then they were able to pass it down to their children, you know what I'm saying? But I think there's like a void between yeah. the parents and the children nowadays, or mm-hmm. us. There was nothing yeah, really. passed down. Yeah, bro, yeah, do you know what? I, I, hear, I hear what you're saying. Do you know what I think it is? It's the integration. As we've become yeah. more and more integrated, yeah, I'm just thinking yeah. that what you just said is oh, the days. exact same mindset. Yes. My, that's my lineage. Yes. Like my grandparents, that's he came on the bus, he came to work on the buses, mm. and he bought a house here, mm. and now he's got a whole street like uh, in Barbados. Like, I'm not joking. Yeah. The whole street, he's just, he's just got bare houses on that street. Do you think he'll give it to me? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's that. Like, and then now my dad now, he like his son, he's like gone by his business just doing what he's doing he works for the system pure like you're saying yeah. hard and now there's us yeah. now where it, he, he, 
it hasn't been part like my granddad doesn't want my granddad and she doesn't want it they don't want to give us that to us so they'd rather leave it to the cats and dogs I don't ask me why but yeah I, I get what you're saying because you mess it up that's I won't right. mess it up right <laughs> what do you mean but no I hear what you're saying and that's what it is I think it, what it is is the integration mm. that's why now we've integrated we don't have that mindset mm. of my brother anymore it's yeah. of the other yeah. if you see what I mean so yeah that's a good what no that's a, you know that's, um, that's, that's yeah. playing on my mind yeah. now so it's a, it's a thing of now trying to work and maybe even working back to that yeah working back to that mm-hmm. and maybe even taking a few steps from you know people that we know in other nations and saying a few tips I said I should mm-hmm. say mm-hmm. like the Asians um, white people Chinese and take little things that they do and start working on mm-hmm. that ourselves mm-hmm. we're not saying obviously we're not going to deal with no one but we need to build ourselves up yes. to own stuff mm-hmm. so that then we can Mm. trade buy mm. and sell with each other but would you, you know would you say that though like with other nations especially the Asians mm. more so like they're very together and the Jewish community like they're very 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 oh, together so it's like you could almost say that everyone from that nation of people have the same mindset mm. literally, literally from from birth mm. to yeah, you know what I mean taught it. exactly Whereas, like, like I said, because of the whole integration, mm. it's like there was a breakdown there somewhere. Mm. So it's like, for us, we would have to have that same mindset of obviously, like, our, well, would be what a great grand. No, grandparents. Mm. grandparents. Oh, grandparents. Yeah, okay, so sure. grandparents, yeah. yeah. But it's like, with, with our nation, remember, like, we're so diverse <laughs> now. So it's like, mm. if you've got someone who is, I don't know, for, I'm going to say religions are like, if you're, whether you're Christian, Muslim, New Ager, Egyptologist, yeah. whatever, everyone's mindset is different. Yeah. So to try and put everyone together to say, okay, boom, let's run a business, right. isn't going to work. Because their whole thing is, well, we can get to this amount of money or, or make this business, whatever, through this way. But they'll be like, no, but we can do it this way. Right. Next session, no, we can do it this way. So yeah. it's like everyone has this whole different mindset. But then when you look at other nations, everyone's like, boom, this is how we're doing it. Police. There is no like, yeah. Mm. Exactly, it is down to a belief system. Mm. So that's that's one of our biggest problems. But we broke away community. from that because we first had that when we came. Well, mo- majority, pretty much, yeah, when pretty we, much. When yeah. we were younger, we had to go Sunday school. <laughs> yeah. That. So from my generation, has there's been a massive break? I've seen it within myself, mm. and I'm only in my fir- early thirties. Mm. Like we we got taught respect you manners. You could not. <laughs> no, but we couldn't talk to us uh, at old elders like that. Like when I was yeah. in my grandma's house, if her friend come, you had to get up off that chair. She shouldn't be able to tell you get up. Right, you had to automatically right. get up. Yeah. Now the kids are looking in your face like, yeah, what's up? <laughs> it's true. <laughs> and you tell them to get up in there, like, still want to argue with you. Even like, even even a simple hello, they can't even do. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. It's just like, Word. yo. But isn't that yeah. our thoughts? Yeah, 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 it is. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Definitely. And I think they just got rid of and got rid of and got rid of things from generation to generation. They said, oh, let me leave that. I'm not going to do that. That's too harsh. Yeah, and then the yeah, next yeah. one, oh, that's too harsh. Then- but you get yeah. that because people, people, obviously how we was raised, like my mum, for example, very strict. She's strict now. I'm still scared of my mum in my, like, my face. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like, now it's like it's almost like okay i'm gonna have children mm. um, and then everyone's like oh you're gonna be soft with your children and that's what happens because it's like the, yeah. the older the older generation is like they get softer and softer yeah. and softer so then there's no discipline then it's like oh, i've done, been there done that yeah. and then just leave their grandchildren to do whatever they're doing so now this is what i'm saying it's like so how are we supposed to teach them we're supposed to hold on to what they did I, I, I we're, we're not doing that we're not doing that now though do because i see i can see the benefit of it of course but it, you know one thing sorry bro go on. Yeah, i'm just saying it's not broken, so don't fix it in it, basically. What do you mean? So the How way that, works. back <laughs> in the day, the mm. old school method yeah. was, was works. perfect. Yeah. It works, yeah. so mm-hmm. keep it going. Mm. All this yeah. new age nonsense in the news, you can't beat your kids and that. Shut up, man, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. <laughs> But then even like, you know, because I was kids like integrated into the school system. Because I know when I went when I went to school and I had, you know, you had to do work experience. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then um, like majority of like the the blacks were in like the bottom three sets. Mm-hmm. And then the upper sets got to choose like um, law firms and um, okay. like uh, record label things to go and work in those mm-hmm. kind of things. And then when it came to like, the lowest of three sets, they got, you can go to work in Asda, 
<laughs> you can work in like you know just like a normal retail like H&M. <laughs> <laughs> those, kinds of, like, those kinds of things so it's like from even that age if you did have aspirations mm-hmm. it's like they're limiting you to no you can only do this like even yeah. when i was like i hadn't even taken my exams yet and my teacher said to me just make sure you apply for lower low lower attaining universities and in my head, I was thinking, all right. So I applied. And I didn't go out of the to apply for all the, the low, all the low ones. He told me that's all you're going to be able to get into. Mm. And a lot of people, I got an A in his in his in his exam. Mm. But then mm. I, by then, I'd already applied yeah. to these units and got in. Okay. So it's like it's even at that level. Mm. It's kind of that. But then, then that's where we have to start, like instilling in our children to actually aspire big yeah. like you yeah. can do big like big and great things mm-hmm. so then it's that now it's us it's our yeah, generation yeah. now mm. that needs to teach these things to the younger ones so yeah. them coming up and have that this like you know the 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 skills that we said we don't see in yeah. our community in our lifetime that they need to then kind of exercise mm-hmm. that's where i think it that's where i think the answer will lie is in the children it's true yeah. So what, Nate? You you mostly hang around with like black people, innit? So yeah, yeah. W- seeing the difference, what? How would you say that your family grew you to aspire yourself in life, or with, uh, is it the same thing through the generations? It kind of weakens. I think through the generations of you know systematically destroyed their morals mm. throughout society do you know what i mean but i think they've particularly aimed it at black people more time ah uh, uh, yeah yeah like with my family my dad well my granddad like he started working in the steel industry mm. like at the bottom but then like later on he managed to like get his own company uh, set up like see, a family yeah, run yeah. company and mm. then my dad he got passed down to him and my yeah, uncle yeah, yeah. and then he tried to pass it down to me do you get what i'm yeah, saying yeah, so yeah yeah it was more like that, but mm. I do think it's more aimed at black people in yeah. particular, do you get what I'm mm. saying? Yeah, see, that's the thing, it's the passing down. Mm. And then with the passing down, it teaches responsibility yeah. and being able to cherish something instead of having that whole attitude of, oh, I don't business if people want to come or not. You get what I'm saying? Mm. But, mm. boy, as you said, it, it, it is pointed at us when, as we watch the videos, we see the music videos, it's all about bling and wearing mm. this and having this and spending cash or being on the road and doing this and doing that it's all glamorized mm. obviously we can tell richie grew up watching elvis we um this it, we need to teach our children we need to what first we need to come together, together. knowing who we are yeah, and yeah. try and and try and do something mm. and then say to our children look because then build knowing who we are and then be able to teach our yeah i've always said that us going school a, a lot of these people that make good businesses never went college mm. and university yeah. Yeah. we think. get taught <coughs> in secondary school yes. yeah college college yes. college, yes. college. Yes. yeah uni uni yeah. uni yeah. to do four five years mm. of college and uni together plus <laughs> and then still end up working for someone yeah. else or you know what I'm saying whereas <laughs> if we taught our children look when you leave secondary school go on apprenticeship mm, yeah, learn it. and get paid at the same time mm. use your money wisely and put your money uh, down like save it you can put it on a, a, a deposit for a house mm-hmm. don't we need to live in the house straight away mm. rent it yeah. mm. when you get the money for that mm. flip it after you remortgage, get another house. Mm. See, we don't teach. No. We weren't taught this and we don't I teach. Went to it. I think our parents were taught that, but I think laziness got in the way with mm. a lot of them. It's true. Unless something it's was handed question. down to them, they they weren't really. But then they squandered that as well because a lot of families you hear, they were really yeah, fighting about yeah, the house true. or the yeah. house gets sold and all, and then the money just gone. Yeah, yeah. It's Same true. situation. So all these houses, other people own them, which yeah. our grandparents own. Yeah, yeah. Need to be taught business skills. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Discipline. Yeah. Mm. Things of that nature. Mm. Yeah. Patience. Yeah. Especially mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> them Caribbean yeah. Yeah. Actually, I once watched a documentary of this man that was talking about like black people, whatever, mm-hmm. and he was saying it's good for black people to own a business. If you go uni or whatever, at least have a little business where you're, you're selling or yeah. something, have something for your for yourself, mm-hmm. and that's how we will build our community. So I really remember also there's loopholes. Other like see like those big business businesses. 
they've got loopholes where they don't pay tax mm. and all of these things where <laughs> we're paying bare things out, you know. And offshore accounts and everything. Yeah, yeah that's, that's, <laughs> but that's oh, down sweet. to them having good lawyers. That's all mm. that is. Once you learn that, because you, like we've got like P Diddy, Dame Dash, all them people, they've got all of that themselves because okay. they've learned that from mm. wherever. You get what I'm saying? But it's like, you know, sometimes we even need to think of, even though we're in the truth, we need to take that street mentality Mm. Not do things illegally, but I'm just saying get that street mentality of remembering how Dame Dash and Jay Z or whoever all these Dutch drain all that started their businesses mm. because there's not nothing wrong with starting your business with your people mm. in a certain way as mm. long as it's according to what's right. You yeah, get what I'm yeah. saying? But that's what we need to do, man. Mm-hmm, they sure. created mm. what they what we now see. Mm. You know what I'm saying? They cr- basically created that, like. Mm. Rockefeller Records started from, you know, them spending the money on a Bentley, wrapping it mm. with the logo and all that, driving around, um, playing Jay-Z's music, going in the clubs, doing the things that we normally do, but they done it smart. Buying the bottles, mm. but still pushing Jay-Z at the same time. Mm. You know what I'm saying? There's things we can do. It's just like, you know, if, like, you got the Kwame Shirada, um clothing. Mm. Once that gets launched properly, it's about, like, even if I have to spend £500 giving out T-shirts and, and jumpers, mm. at least, you know, when people are wearing it, people are saying, yeah, where do you get that from? Marketing. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It's marketing. Mm. That's yeah. what we lack in. Mm. You know what I'm saying? We just expect to start something and, and it, expect and it, pure yeah. people to this yeah. exactly tomorrow where we, we've made it mm. yeah. not <laughs> trying to work work no, work you get what I'm saying and you don't want to give nothing for free as well that's yeah. the thing yeah, exactly. that's so it's you greed think, it comes down to greed how do all these big companies do they give samples yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I have to you have to how else are you supposed to get out of there yeah so do you think do you think all these celebrities that are saying all this stuff I can I can hold them accountable and say well you said in this interview that you wanted to spend money like this yeah I'm gonna. I'm starting a business. Since you said blah blah blah, would you yes. like to invest? Yeah, right. I'm gonna hold them accountable. What true? It's true. Ah. Watch true. this space. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? As in, I'm gonna want... contact them on social media and say, I've heard you said this in this interview. <laughs> oh, I'm wow. starting this business. Help me out. Yeah. 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 I'm sure. I'm sure that Brandon Jackson is on that. No, what? The one from, yeah, 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 um, yeah. Big yeah, 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 yeah. And is. Tropic Thunder. Yeah. He's what, what did, what did, yeah. But I, I don't. I've he he was also saying the same thing about helping yeah, businesses black like businesses, black businesses. Yeah, right. Well, I'm gonna hold them accountable then. <laughs> yeah, message him. Well, no, yeah. I'm, I'm, you know, I've been, I've been so serious that you look. Mm, just watch this. Message. But you just have to have something creative that they know. You know what I'm saying? Do you know? To tell you the truth, I think any of those black. Millionaires, mm. Dame Dash and that. As long if you had a, a banging idea, mm. they they would help you, but they have to know that they're gonna make from it. That's all mm. it is. Why they have to make something? Why they can't just invest in their people and that's because thing, people, that's those are people just make up anything. Word, word, so word. yeah, yeah, send me send me five hundred grand for it, or twenty true. grand for this. You know what I'm saying? Mm. For nonsense. <laughs> but boys, you know, black businesses. You need well, to. That's it learn longevity and patience mm. yes. and stop trying to make a million over one night <laughs> it is. and give more and use more and... more respect when you're dealing with customers mm. in it what's it protect your investment yeah. mm. you know what i'm saying customer but, service goes a long way boy mm. definitely a very long way be ready to be in the trenches man yeah work hard those late nights bro mm-hmm. you're in. that's it but yeah that's it, man. We yeah. gotta get out.